As we head into a new legislative session, there will be another look at Tennessee's abortion ban. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien details a push from a Republican to expand some exceptions. When things go wrong, we have to allow the doctors to be able to, to treat the, the, the mother, the woman. Knoxville Senator Richard Briggs has been a doctor for 46 years. After Tennessee's trigger law on abortion went into effect last year, he sponsored a bill for some exceptions before Tennessee Right to Life shut it down. This year, he's back with a new iteration. What we're looking at this year is to take some of those medical conditions where either the child cannot survive outside the womb or it's a condition where if the woman is not treated properly, that she could end up unable to have children. Democrats will certainly play ball with Briggs's bill, though they filed a bill a few weeks ago to make any abortion legal in Tennessee, something they admitted to me is purely symbolic when I asked if they felt like they were filing bills with a realistic chance. Oh, you said realistic chance. <laughs> Senate Democratic Caucus Chairwoman London Lamar has a relationship with maternal health. Last session, she revealed that she had a pregnancy-related stroke at 32 weeks a few years back, and lost her first son, Dallas. Now straddled with her five-month-old, Nylan, she's fighting to keep access to abortions, at least in emergency situations. We are putting handcuffs on doctors from being able to do what they're supposed to do, what they took an oath to office to do, and that's to protect their patients. Now, Briggs's issue will be whether he can get enough Republicans on board to see it through, a clear uphill battle. I fully support the law that we have on the books right now relative to, to abortion. Um, I believe life begins at conception and, uh, and should be protected. Briggs promises there will be safeguards in place to prevent elective abortions, but he says the state shouldn't be forcing an unviable pregnancy. For the state to say we're going to risk her life, we're going to force her to carry the baby, we're going to force her delivery that could affect her sterility or even affect her life, I, I think that's wrong. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Senator Briggs also laid out several examples of where an abortion could be the only way to save fertility for a pregnant mother. To learn more, visit our website at WKRN.com.